Hey, it's Drew here. Just want to talk about the Machine Auto Tagger today. Machine Auto Tagger is software for Windows and Mac that automatically tags your samples for use in the Machine Desktop software and the Machine Plus software. It supports adding images for the Machine Desktop software, but not Machine Plus since Machine Plus doesn't support user images. Once you've loaded up the Machine Auto Tagger software and put in your license key, you'll be presented with this screen. This is where you add folders, and every folder corresponds with a product in the machine desktop software. By default, it tags everything with the machine auto tagger vendor, but we can change this. I'll show you how to do that later. Let's start by selecting a folder. I'm going to browse, go to the folder, and hit open. It's going to run through all the files, and based on a few different parameters, choose the best tag for that file. Once I've loaded up this folder, I can also preview each file by clicking on it. I can use shift select to select multiple files and change the tag. Let's add a cover image to this folder. I can select an image. I can crop the image. The image will be the correct size for the machine controller and desktop software. Let's go ahead and export. Exporting never modifies the original files. It always copies the files to the desktop folder. Once your files are tagged, they're tagged forever, so they can be moved across computers and to the Machine Plus. Once that exports, we're going to move to the machine software, and now we're going to add that folder to the machine software for the user samples. Let's go to Library to User. Then we'll hit Add, and we'll add the machine auto tagger from the desktop. Hit Rescan. And now if we go to One Shots, we can see all of our samples have been tagged for the machine software. The uncategorized folder is for any samples that couldn't be automatically tagged. Let's move back to the machine auto tagger. Let's add one more folder. I'm going to add the splice folder. Let that scan. Let's also add a cover image for the splice folder. I'm going to crop this. Close it out. Now let's change the vendor. By default, it's machine auto tagger, but we can change this to whatever we want. We just have to be sure it doesn't collide with any native instruments, products, or expansions. So don't name it massive or crate cuts. I'm going to name this producer kits and hit submit. This is telling me there was a folder already named producer kits, but that's fine because I exported it earlier. Now I changed the vendor. I have to re-export. Let's move back to the machine software. I'm going to rescan. And then we'll see that we have an issue here. We have one that's machine auto tagger and one that's producer kits. That's fine. The way to fix that is to just remove and then re-add the library. Changing the vendor is the only time you'll have to do this. If you want to just change the image, you can easily do that. Go back to this folder, hit Cover Image, choose the image, recrop it, save it, and re-export. And if we go back to the machine desktop software, we can see that we don't have to rescan or anything. It's automatically changed for us. And that's it for the rundown of the machine auto tagger. I hope this helps you quickly organize your user library. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me at drew at hey.com. That's J-R-U-E at hey.com. Thank you.